Abbronzate tutte chiazze, pelle rosse un po' ponazze, sono le ragazze che prendono il sole. wondering, this is Tomato Day, or as I like to refer to it, National Wog Day. You might think this is all quirky and cute, but I actually find this really embarrassing. I mean, you'd think they'd never left Sicily except that it was like 50 years ago. This might be where I come from, but do I really belong here? That's the past, and you can't let the past run your life. Dirty. Adesso che sono a musica, vieni qua, ancora ce n'è di fare. I have got to get out of here. You probably can't tell by looking at me, but actually, I'm cursed. So is my mama and my nonna. Well, that's nonna's theory anyway. It kind of sets us apart from the rest of the family. The three other Brundy women. Well, that's how I start him out. Outcasts. Why can't we just buy Latino like the rest of the world? Sposa un australiano e per mangiare ci dugna fish and chips. My cousin Robert, the treasured grandson. <laughs> Nonna says we're lucky to be included because being cursed means we have no right to belong. Mi fortunata, Patrick. Ah. Nonna goes on and on about a lot of things. Mama always lets her. Just for peace. Come on, Josie, you've hardly done anything. Christina! Christina! Uh oh, wonder what the gossip is this time. Yes, finally! This is the last year I'm going to have to do this. I'm moving out of Little Sicily, and it's not a moment too soon. <laughs> Give me a few years and I'll be running things. And it won't be a small Italian family either. I'm not going to be trapped like them. Josie, where do you think you're going? I promise you'd help. I have. Anyway, you guys are doing a few talking. I'm going places. Hey, Josie. These are my friends Sarah and Anna. We kind of happened by default. When everyone was choosing their friends in Year 7, we were the only ones left in the playground. <laughs> I can't believe you still do National Bloody Wog Day. I need to be back by six. My cousin's brother-in-law's sister's baby's been your family's worse than mine. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. I've got big plans for this year. I'm going to get Nonna off my back. Blitz my final exam so that I can go to university to do law. And I'm going to make the man of my dreams fall in love with me. And do you know what that means? 
It means I'm going to be the first other Brundy woman to have a say in how her life will turn out. What's all this about you and your friends running around Bondi half naked? We're just at the beach. <laughs> Signora Formosa said you almost ran her over. She called Zia Patrizia's next door neighbour and it got back to Nonna. What a liar! If I know Sarah, I'll hear about this for the next year. What is wrong with you anyway? Stop answering back and start helping around here. You know, Nonna always puts you in a bad mood. Now, this very minute, this very second. You sure you don't mean in an hour? Non si troppo calusa qui dare tina manciate corpa. Poor mum has had to put up with so much. I can't believe my grandfather Francesco kicked her out when she was pregnant. I mean, she was only 17. That's how old I am. Nonna says it's my birth that brought the curse on us. I found that out at the same time I found out Jesus died on the cross for my sins, so I felt pretty guilty that year. Mummy used to tell me I was an immaculate conception until I found out it was just the boy next door. No one else knows, so Mama and I share the biggest secret in the world. Sarah and Anna don't really understand the Mama thing. As long as they can hear their father snoring, it's okay. Nobody died during the night. Don't tell me you're okay, Lebrandi, because I know you're not. Oh, I'm getting old, Lebrandi. That's what you always say to cover some horrible truth. <sighs> Michael Andretti's in Sydney. Signora Formosa saw him. He's going to be living here for at least a year to work in some law chamber. I thought you just made him up. Yeah, sometimes I did too. Oh, it was so hard standing there listening to them all going on about how wonderful he is. Well, it's no big deal. We can handle it. It is a big deal, Josie. Nonna's decided she's going to adopt him. Well, <clears throat> I think it'd be better if I don't go to Nonna's for a while then, because he might hang around there. Nice try. You still in love with him? He's a 17-year-old boy in my head. Just say he finds out and then he goes custody and say, or comes and shoots you or something. Let's worry more about Nonna finding out and shooting him. Oh, great. Well, this year's just starting off perfectly. You know, I never thought for a second I'd actually ever meet my father. Anyway, they all seem pretty useless to me. I mean, take Sarah's, for example. Like most Italian fathers, he thinks his daughter's the Virgin Mary. And like most Italian fathers, well, <laughs> he doesn't have a clue. Anna's father's no different. I mean, the poor guy works two jobs, saves for years and never goes on a holiday. What for? so he can buy his daughter a place in the best school. But I know better than that, because at St Martha's it's all about money, prestige, and what your father does for a living. <laughs> and how do I know this? Because I'm surrounded by girls whose fathers treat them like princesses. Carly, how was your trip? They think they have everything. Was terrible. And you know what? They do. <laughs> father said on his show. <laughs> Fucking racist. Someone should have had the guts to say it years ago. Next he's tackling wogs on handouts. You look fantastic. <laughs> and I was having such a bad hair day. Oh, but the shoot went on for hours. Oh, give me a fuck of show. <laughs> At least I have the dubious honour of being vice captain, which is kind of like being runner-up at the Miss Universe beauty pageant. I get to take over if Miss St Martha's gets ill or becomes involved in a sex scandal. Don't take it so seriously, Anna. It can't predict the future. Last year I got some Joan of Arc and two weeks later I burnt my hand on it. I wouldn't go near any line parks this year if I were you. What have you got, Joe's? 
St. Barbara, she was beheaded by her father. Mama. I'm going to be a saint this year. Assessments in on time, no slacking, no afternoon detentions. And you know what? For once in my life, I'm going to stick to it. Josephine? We'd all like to know what you find so fascinating, Josephine. But maybe not on my first day back. I don't think you find it interesting, sister. You'd be surprised. Stand up. Sister Louise is famous for nostril flaring. Once I said to Sarah that she must have been a horse in another life, but Sister overheard and argued that as a Catholic I shouldn't believe in reincarnation. May I ask what this magazine has to do with my religion class? Well, Sister, you said <clears throat> at the end of last year that we should bring in examples of material that insults our intelligence. Well, everything in this magazine insults our intelligence. <laughs> Sit down. No, I mean, do you think they're concerned with whether we're good Christians or not? <laughs> no, instead, we've got articles like, you know, do you love your sex life and does size count? And let me assure you, sister, they're not referring to his height. <laughs> <laughs> You've made your point. What year are you in, Josephine? Why do teachers always ask questions I already know the answer to? Year 12, sister. Are we going to have a repeat of last year? Truancy? Constant disrespect? You've already had the chance of being captain taken away. If you're going to spend the rest of the year in this office, you can forget about being vice-captain. Look at me. Don't give people a reason to say you don't deserve a scholarship here. As if they don't say it anyway. But just remember, it's me that decides these things. Make sure your priorities are right, Josie. And that goes for your new job as well. Is there anything you don't know? Not much. But thank Christ that even in the most tragic of lives, there's always a sliver of hope. to have you here with us to discuss this year's social calendar. Now, St Martha's and St Anthony's have had a long history of collaboration. In the past, young women and young men... Teachers always act as if they've never seen food when they can have functions like this. Positions of leadership that is Miss Gibson's fifth, Tim Tam. But, as I said, this year doesn't necessarily have to be all about hard work. <coughs> Already, school dances, mock trials, debates, have a say day where the best of our orators will speak, as well she as know you're speaking? Well, she certainly wasn't talking about last year's losing team, said Speaker. Thanks. Better like this year, you'll need it. I'm not debating. I'm joining the Young Libs. I didn't know you were political. My father's into job security. What? Being the leader of the Liberal Party? <laughs> Prime Minister. 
As soon as my wife, the Shadow Attorney General, decides to cross the floor. And is that a future possibility, Mrs. Alibrandi Barton? Well, all I can say is that I wouldn't be the first politician to do that. Excuse me. What the early spiritual influence? Oh, Carly Bishop of Scamp Magazine. Attorney General Alibrandi Barton will be where? Oh. Excuse me, do you want one or not? You're doing a great job there, Carly. Did you make these yourself? Ironical, isn't it? The people you have to serve. Well, we should be impressed that she knows the meaning of the word ironical. Why don't you just, you know, fuck the guy and get it over and done with? Oh, and it's got you a prize of a man. See you, Josie. Bye, John. Hey, you want a lift? Come on, Carly, hop in. Ciao, Josie. See you, Josie. Bye. Carly, how are you? Is that a tattoo on Angelo's arm? Uh-huh. It says Sarah forever. I swear, we did it all holidays. More times than with Anthony. <laughs> Sarah, I think you should be careful. Her grain. Now I'm getting advice from a professional virgin. What do you suggest I use? How about your underpants? The ritual of having to go to my nonna's every afternoon drives me insane. So I tried a dawdle. But there's always nonna's spiring. It's the biggest and most thorough in the southern hemisphere. There you go. It usually takes them anywhere between 18 minutes and two days to get back to her. Get in the front, Jess. You know, once it only took them 12 minutes because three of nonna's CIA operatives are in the same house having a Bessemer party. companies would go broke if it wasn't for the Italians. I'm not hungry, it's too hot. You don't have McDonald's, so you are always hungry. No, no, I'm not eating. Do you understand English? I was taught to speak English before your mother was born. Maleducata. Why, you cannot be like Roberto. I never understand. You just wish it was your grandson. Nobody stick a feet. It's the fashion. I'm putting the air conditioner on in the salon till I'm dying. Nobody stick a feet. Ma perché non ti puoi fissare? Perché fai parare a gente? Per quante volte me fai frundari? Ma di ogni nascisti. Who do you think I belong to? Go on, who? Yeah, I bet you wish I didn't belong to you. You misinterpret everything. It's misinterpret. Ho fatto per meritare una nipote come Mattia e una figlia che mi para come fossi una cane di strada. Don't bring Mamma into this. If she's good to you, nonna, you just nag her to death. I sort back all the time. Sono una vecchia e mi tocca rispetto. Ma pigli mi pillole, già mi desti un dolore di testa. C'è culpa, Cristina, se mi pare così. La figlia si comporta come ha imparato da madre. Allora, perché su a mamma ha fatto questa vita? Ci culpa so madre. Go on, Josie. I do not want you here. Buongiorno, signore. Ah, ah, Josie, eh, Joe Michael, tu del salotto. Come in, come in. Tu sai che Cristina ha già due una figlia. Ma ah, gioca a te. Josie, malaria. Cristina's daughter. Ma troppo caldo, Marie. No, ma dai, mi anche. Josie. Josie, where are you going? Tu sai, Josie, qui se ne pigliamo, sta figlia. Va bene. 
Va bene, mamma. What a what are you about? What are you about? What did you do to her, Josie? She's hysterical. Josie, I want you to ring and apologize to her right away. Josie! I'll fash with you. My father has a scent. It's a combination of cigarettes, aftershave and that smell that all men have. I can't pretend he doesn't exist anymore. I can't understand how we never found out. Maybe the wogs don't gossip as much in Adelaide as they do. I'm not getting dropped off in that car. Good. Walk then. How am I supposed to see if someone's actually overtaking me, sir? Huh? I only want it for a second. One second, that's all it takes. One second, bang. Come on. That's it. Keep on dancing. Somebody comes in. Ignorance keeps me safe. It keeps us all safe. It's not as if I can change anything. Some say that there's nobility in dying in war. Others say that there's satisfaction in dying of old age. But the person I never listened to said that there's neither in dying of ignorance. So instead of saying, why me, when it happens, maybe we should be saying, what can I do to prevent it? It's up to all of us. Thank you. I thought you said you hadn't prepared anything. Our next speaker is the captain of one of hey, our... Hey, I like your speech, by the way. I was written away for years before I started using a condom, and it scares me shitless to think of the risks I took. Thanks for sharing that with me. Uh, I think I'll follow your lead and um, show them all how to put one of these on. How you going? I'm Jacob Coote from Cook High. Two things happened to me yesterday. The first was uh, I received all this shit about voting for the first time. And uh, so I tore it up and chucked it in the bin because I reckon politicians are a bunch of dickheads and they bore me stupid. <laughs> but then the second thing was my old man wanted to watch this documentary on SBS about uh, insects rooting on fig leaves. <laughs> so I caught the end of the world news and I saw these three guys dragging a friend of theirs who'd been shot. And they'd been shot by their own army because they were protesting about something. And the only thing I understood about it was that the guy was wearing a Nick Cave t-shirt. But then I wondered how some guy my age, with my taste in music, gets himself into a situation where his own government is trying to kill him just because he has something to say. And I figured that in this country we vote not to get the best party in because there's no such thing, but we vote to keep the worst party out. So I kind of like the idea of standing up here and calling our Prime Minister a dickhead <laughs> without someone trying to shoot me and stop you all from listening. And because I don't want to end up on the news one day being watched by some ignorant idiot on the other side of the world who believes that this can't happen to him. Cheers. He's not too bad. Oh, he doesn't do anything for me. Is that his father? That's the premier, you dickhead. Don't they just look perfect together? If he had it any more together, he'd be running the country. Mm, he probably will. So could you. Yeah, I can just imagine letting a walk be prime minister. Why are we up there? We look pretty good on telly. Well, maybe a school captain you should be. Ah, oh, you've been doing your homework. You read interesting things in public toilets. Yeah. It's a pity about you being vice captain, though. I mean, it could have been great between us.
vanno fuori con te, il piacere c'è anche là. Eh, ciao, sì, è taglia più grande, eh. Un sacco. Oh, 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 Buona massa. Auguri, Permesso, permesso, grazie. Scusate. Ciao, zio. Buona massa. Anche a te. Che se perda. E ci sto dando gli auguri. Guardate, guardate chi c'è. Oh, my God. Great. What do we do now, Alabandi? Can you believe this is my little Christina? Hi. You remember, Josie? Yeah. Well, I hear you're quite a scholar. Take after my mother. Josie, you take these. Now, why doesn't everyone go outside? We're nearly done. For them for that guerra. Marco stand the board. They taught us to make this salad. Con metto casa pigi questo Marco stand the board. Don Piccini, she was a married woman. Era bravo con gli altri durante la guerra e basta. Chan Jem, Chan Jem. Quando mise i nostri uomini nei campi. Ma Riccardo, è viva morto. I'm here, eat my pasta, Patrizia. <laughs> Signor Sandiporti, he just ate. That's why English, we speak well. Look at him slamming all over Nonna. Who does he think he is, part of the family or something? <laughs> Am I supposed to think, Christina? We had it all arranged. We both agreed to it. What, did you think I wouldn't come back if I knew? Well, I, I changed my mind. You changed your mind? I changed my mind. What about your father? What about your mother? What does Cardio know about this? Am I this? Don't worry, Mama and I are good at keeping secrets. Look, the Just only reason I came back was for... For what? I came back for work. I thought you'd be settled with the family. Hey, she is settled with the family. Look, maybe we can discuss this some other time. Get real. I beg your pardon? Stop being polite. You're making me puke. Be angry or, or be rude, but don't you pretend I'm not here. What do you want me to say? All the time. All the time I would say, Christina, do not go near that maleducato. Oh. He's on the drugs. The police were always there. And this poor mother was on the nerve tablets. Davanti a miei occhi. Davanti a miei occhi, non Luigi. Why him? Why disgrace me with Piandretti son of all people? Why can't you sleep with her? Come on, help me make my bed. I'm scared to leave her alone, and she won't let me anywhere near her. She's old and she doesn't shave her legs. Can't catch old age from sleeping in the same bed. Pigami album de foto de sopra tu letta. I wish my grandfather Francesco had found out that Michael Andretti was Mama's boyfriend. Because then he'd be dead. Tell us he. Le 
da Josie. Come una zingara. Ada. Mi è Seventeen. Cristina. And you. Three plus. And you complain about my hair. Mamma mi diceva sempre. Katia, tu sei una zingara senza freno. Cosa ti volessi? Batman, stay calm. Five men came to ask me for my hand in marriage when I was your age. Ogni settimana, chi che mi diceva? Katia Torello, sposa mia. Ma mi pare, Cilio Francesco. I saw Stecken on the boat. I was dancing. And the men, ooh, <laughs> the way they look at me. I was most beautiful than all. I am modest too. Mm. Some of the men even said, forget Francesco, he ran away with me. I was uh, very, very lonely in Australia. I was in a place, Josie, where I did not belong. And every day there were people who said to me with their look, Katia Librandi, you do not belong. Doing around these insane fanatics. Give me yes, 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 yes. Someone should tell your cousin he's not playing soccer. Okay, John. Hey, uh, I really do need to get to that meeting. Dad, this is Josie. Hi. Third speaker on the winning team. Ooh, good. Um, well, we'll, uh, we'll see you at home then. That was Senator Barton in an emotional mood. Overwhelming, isn't it? What's he got to be emotional about? He's breathing down my neck about my university preferences. Law at Sydney Uni so you can be my best friend? Or teaching? <laughs> Don't laugh. You're very patient with the little debaters. When you talk, people listen. My father would have a stroke. You're a snob. No, I'm a realist. My father's a politician. My grandfather's a politician. My great-grandfather was the backer for the first Liberal Prime Minister. It's called tradition. Yeah, tell me about it. Sorry. Just I'm in a shit mood because he went through my mail. He owns my life, you see, so he's entitled to open my mail. Well, at least your father has expectations. Mine well, can't even handle being in the same room. Oh, yeah, fantastic. My favourite is when he gets up on his soapbox at my birthday and says, one of my sons will lead this country back onto the road to glory. And I feel that could very well be John. Now, let's forget the instance of the past. He's done his thing at FBA, and now we can move forward into the future. <laughs> You? <laughs> Your cousin's doing a lap of honor. Oh, God. I could put up with his ego the whole way home. I've got to look perfect, Nonna. I want it just like this one. I can make this exactly the same, Jesse. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna die if John Barton doesn't ask me to dance. I'll try not to make it too public and disgrace the family. Staroba e da dobbia ancaria. I thought it was my glory box. Che speranza c'hai a maritare di quando un diavolo ti mandava questa maledizione? Oh, signori. Next time tell them you wear what you want to wear. And as if your parents saw you leave home in that.
Okay, God, here's the deal. I'll say the rosary five times a night with Nonna if you just get him to ask me for the first dance. Vice Captain of St. Martyrs. I didn't think you'd be the type to come to one of these. Ah, so she thinks she's got me all figured out. dress once, I was going to buy it, but I found something better. It's a good thing you didn't. It needs to be held up in the right places. The clash of the cleavages. <laughs> He's waiting outside the door for me. He's just any further apart, you'll be in separate suburbs. Like some people. <laughs> you could have done worse. He's our school captain. But not exactly the school captain she wants. <laughs> Let's go to Oxford Street. Sure. How about these seats? He's coming? I can't. I can fit five in my car. No, I can't come. Can anyone drop me off? Yeah, I can give you a lift. <coughs> uh, he's a friend of mine. I play soccer with him. Well, that says it all, Dad. See you, Jason. Bye, John. Bye, John. So what's your name? Josephine Alabrandi. I can't believe it. He's danced with me for seven and a half songs, rubbed his body up against mine, and he hasn't even asked anyone my name. <laughs> I'm going home with the wrong guy. I'm going home in, in a, a panel, panel van. van. Guess again. Hey. This dress is made out of material from my glory box. Glory box? Yeah, this is like the best dress I own. This is gonna be a family heirloom one day. 
Well, how do you expect me to sit on that bike in my family heirloom? You sure you don't want to take a taxi? Yes, I'm sure. You'll love it. Well, can you at least just turn around? It's bad enough the whole of George Street's going to say Mondays. Well, are you going to deny me that honour? I don't want to be named Jane Doe in the Doesn't your mother worry about you on that thing? She's dead. It's okay. I'd die if my mum died. No, you don't die. You just get really angry. And then after you get angry, you hurt a lot. And then one day you remember something she did or something she said and all of a sudden you laugh instead of cry. I thought you were going to be rich because you go to that snob school. I'm on a scholarship. So if you weren't, you'd be at Cook High with me. I'd be at a Catholic school, thank you. Yeah, but it'd be like Cook High. Yeah, and I wouldn't have a problem with it. Oh, look, you're not really my type. I mean, no, no, not as an insult or anything. Oh, no, of course not. Look, I've got to go. Do you want to go out? You'd have to meet my mother. Oh, look, I don't meet mothers. Well, I don't go out with guys who don't meet mothers. Oh. All right, it was a dumb idea anyway. Being a dickhead, I'll meet your mother. Oh, come on. What am I going to do? Say no to this guy? <laughs> I don't think so. Don't worry. Do you think I'm going to lose sight of what I've always wanted? I can't wait to be here next year. We'll be in the same shoots. We'll have coffees together, studying. Oh, there he is. John! Where the hell have you been? Trying to decide whether to do the four essays or three assignments is not my idea of a holiday. <laughs> what if we don't survive? So what happened to paving your own path to glory? <laughs> oh, the young are so foolish. So how's my competition at Cook High? I can't make up my mind about him. I don't think he's my type. Well, it's really boring if you always stick to your own type. You're a dickhead. 
How many times do I have to tell you to stop flattering me? How will race you to the arch. I think we can be a bit more mature than that. Okay. <laughs> Does this boy have a car? No. Good. How about I drop you both off? I've got a better idea. Why don't you come and sit between us at the movies? Josie, shh, it's so sad. His mother's dead and he's got no one to sew for him. What? There's La Dolce Vita at the Dendi. La what? Hey, I, I don't want to see a film with subtitles. So what do you want to see, Mr. Bill Collins? Well, I want to see a normal movie with cops and robbers and good guys and bad guys and well, people I can relate to. Sorry, morons from outer space is no longer showing. Look, this is the way I dress when I go to the movies, all right? And pardon my ignorance about the whole mother thing, but I've never had to go out with an ethnic girl before. Had to? Well, if we're slumming it, I've never had to go out with an Anglo before. <laughs> what the hell is an Anglo? You people should go back to your own country if you're so confused. Deacon's Book of Records. I've just been out on a ten-minute date. Is that a record? My father's a cop and he'll kill you. No, he's a barrister. I think you should get in the car. What are you doing? Are you stalking me? Well, what are you doing? Storming down the street, accusing me of being a public servant. I was at Christina's. I was under the misapprehension that we could come to some kind of arrangement. You offered her money, didn't you? And she told you to fuck off. She was a bit more eloquent than that. You know, I never thought meeting you would be so boring. I thought we'd be really Sicilian and scream the place down. Josephine! Wait! Until recently, I had no idea that you even existed. So you'll have to pardon me if I'm not very good at this. So the best you can do is offer us a token gesture. Look, I need a little time to take all of this in. <laughs> Please, Mr. Andretti, don't do us any favours. <laughs> Why can't something go right for a change? Oh, I know it sounds like I'm always complaining, but please, God, don't let me be a loser. Hey, John! They've come up with this idea that we should write down the way we feel at the moment, then hand it over to someone who we trust, who then read it back to us after the exam. A Catholic answer to therapy. <laughs> How do you feel at the moment? I don't know. You know, it's almost as if I've given myself the HSCs this deadline, and then I'm scared that at the end of the year I'm not going to get what I want. I don't know what I want. So deadlines aren't very good for me. Would I pass the trust test? What? Catholic therapy. Would I? What have you written? I'm not telling. How about you? Are you ready? Yes.
believe I've got John Barton's soul and he's got mine. And I wonder if he's as scared as I am about what we wrote. I don't think I can wait until the end of the year. They're still here. Just got his fourth burger. Saw Anton at my cousin's wedding. I'm so embarrassed. Why? Thanks. He spoke to me. Bastard! Mm. Good one, Joes. I mean, what kind of lawyer am I gonna make if I keep letting a guy like Jacob Cook get the better of me? After all, I have my glorious future to work on. So, no more distractions, back to being a saint. Hello! <laughs> this uniform feels so much tighter. I think I put weight on around the bum. teaching us the wrong English text, aren't they? It's John Barton. What's John Barton? He's dead. He killed himself. They reckon that he slit his wrists in his bed. Shut up, Sarah. It's not funny. Why don't you come to my office, Josie? We can ring your mother from there and she can come and pick you up. Josie? For the rest of my life, I want to know what they do with the sheets. Maybe they'll burn them. Or maybe they'll scrub and scrub that blood away so that they can sleep on them for the rest of their lives. If I could be anything other than what I am, I'd want it tomorrow. If I could be what my father wants me to be, then maybe I could stay for that too. If I could be what you want me to be, I'd want to stay. But I am what I am, and all I want is freedom.
I'd asked my mum where to take you, she'd have... She would have said here. We used to come here all the time. She had this way of making us feel safe. It's going to be all right, Joe's. Can't anyone see? If John Barton couldn't be all right, no one's going to be all right. It's been three months since my last confession. I always wanted to be part of his world. But I don't belong there. God, he didn't even belong there. I don't belong anywhere and I hate it. What is it with the wogs? Stupid bitch. At least I'm not a bastard. Either she leaves this school, or my daughter does. No, I am not leaving. She's the one who hit me. I won't put up with this leniency for students on handouts. It's tokenism. You suffered a shock in the last few weeks, Josie. I think I should try your mother again. Don't bring my mother into this. I can handle it myself. I'd advise you to contact your family solicitor. As if she can afford one. I'll ring my father. He's a barrister. Oh, oh, you liar. She's lying. She doesn't even have a father. Yeah, I'm the Immaculate Conception and my mother's the Virgin Mary. Well, why don't you phone him then? Go on, go and phone him. Carly, I think you should go to the sick bay. I have to look up his number. Oh, see, she doesn't even know her own father's phone number. He just moved here from Adelaide. I knew that number off by heart. Double eight seven four five nine two. Um, and could you please remind him that it's St Martha's Rose Bay and not St Matilda's Roseville? Thank you. My mother says the family's cursed. Alex Fellow. She'll have to do a HSC at TAFE or at a state school. Come on. Brandy? Andretti. Your daughter has broken my daughter's nose. My daughter? Has inherited her father's temper. Could we... Uh, could we talk a minute? Dad? She gets on my nerves. That's it. Her hair's all over my books when she sits in front of me. Yeah, well, for that, I would have knifed her. She's a racist. She called me a wog, amongst other things. So you broke her nose with a science book? History. What did she say? I'm just sick of being called names, OK? Josephine, get used to it. There's a lot of name calls in this world, and if you're going to run around thumping every single one of them, you're going to spend the rest of your life paying legal fees. Oh, my apologies for disturbing your life. Just go. I'll fix this up myself. That creep wants you to pay for his daughter's nose job. Because of that nose job, she'll become a model. And you will end up working in a fast food chain because you're expelled and couldn't do your HSC. Now, what did she say? <laughs> it doesn't matter, OK? She doesn't give a shit about anyone. She just does all this damage and leaves us feeling like crap. <sighs> do you think I didn't get depressed and feel like killing myself? Everyone knew who his father was. No one ever told their kids they weren't allowed to play at his place. Hey, 
Can I speak to you for a minute, Mr... My father is Ron Bishop. From 2XY. Weren't you in hot water recently uh, regarding your views on immigration? As if my father listens to talkback radio. Oh, but Daddy, aren't we suing? Da How's court today, Dad? ever going to talk to him again. Thank you for letting him think that we owe him and that he's the hero of our lives. Are you going to help me with my hair? Where are you going? For parents and teachers night. You're only doing this because Michael's back. No, <laughs> just dearest woman in my casa. Well, he's better than your boss Elvis Presley, perverted dickhead. It's Paul Presilio, actually. And if you think that I've waited all my life for Michael Andretti to come and say it. Presilio, he do sa baby dear. Casabiri. Che c'è una brutta malattia? Is my daughter some kind of a, a, a sickness that I have to warn people about? Don't try, Kate. When you go out and neglect your daughter. Neglect? When have I ever neglected my daughter? I need a life too. And you're just jealous because you didn't go out and make something of your life when Papa died and you were desperate to. Sono una vecchia. E sono stanca di sti argomenti. Io sono giovane e sono stanca di essere vecchia. La gente para e sono io che soffro. This has got nothing to do with you. Do you understand? Nothing. Io ti capisco. Ti capisco, Cristina. Dai, get married to him, have a thousand kids. I'll go live with my father. I hope I die during the night and you feel guilty for the rest of your life. When you say things like that, I wonder what I did to deserve you. Oh, would you like me to refresh your memory? Nessuno. Pensa mai che sono io che soffro. Nessuno. Oh, now what? Marcus Sandiford. Nonna, this is the guy you go on about. <laughs> He's such a spunk. Is that what all the Australian guys look like back then? Year after year, every Christmas, Francesco would go away to work and leave me all by myself in the bush. I was in danger. Snakes on the floor, Josie. No ties, just dirt. Did Marcus Sandiford kill a snake for you? I met him in the post office. I opened a letter from Patricia, who was still living in Sicilia. Josie, my mama and papa are dead. The mafia? Influenza. I began to cry, screaming, pulling my hair on the floor, crying. Why, why? Those poor Australiani look at me like I'm a crazy woman. Nobody moved. Poi qui che duno, l'impunia d'intera mi potai da redo. Mi paravo per inglese e io ci cianci per italiano. Ma ne capivo. I never stop being sad that I lost this Australian friend. Tu assist destino for your friend to die this way. But it's not mine. When you were born, Francesca said that I was never to see you or Christina, but nothing would stop me from seeing my bambola. And I could see that this baby would be the one to stop. Vuoi che ti pensi o che vedi ora?
Mate, no wonder you Italians have so many bloody operas. So tell me part 12 of the uh, Alibrandi Andretti saga. What happened in part 11? Uh, your old man wanted you to come and stay with him and your mum was cracking it. Oh, yeah, well, anyway, his mother, Pia Maria, sent my nonna a poison letter, right, because she's in denial at the moment, because mum reckoned that Pia Maria still thinks her son's a virgin. And she's the witch on nerve tablets that put the curse on your grandma's garden and uh, all the flowers died. No, 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 she's not a witch. She's got the evil eye. It's a bit different. Nonna says you're the devil incarnate and I'm not allowed to get in the car with you. Now, I've got a proposition for you. A job, three afternoons a week. Photocopying, being a courier, making coffee. Do I get a mobile? I'm the boss, no perks. You want a coffee? Yep. Um, do you mind if we drop Jacob off first, though? Hey, nice car. Does he have a car? No. Good. You two did it in a car, didn't you? This is hardly the time or the place. What type? Tell me. Charger. <laughs> Were you in love with her? I was in awe of her. She wasn't like the other girls around here. In what way? She was smarter than me. She was going to go to university and study poetry. My mother, a poet. I didn't think she'd be interested in me. I had to use my brains for a change. Well, that's because boys are at their sexual peak at 17. Oh, really? Women are when they're 34, so mama's at the right age, but you're over the hill. <laughs> <laughs> now, I used to hang around here when I was a kid after school. And your mother? Your mother would walk down there with Cardia clutching her arm like she was never going to let her go. We were very good at keeping secrets, your mother and I. If Cardia had any idea what we were getting up to, she would have killed me. I think she still wants to. Do you? Does it matter? I like the fact that you called me up to the school. Did you really think she went through with what you planned? I knew her father. I didn't think Christina had the guts to stand up to the bastard. Don't look at him. Do you think my life would have been different if I'd been conceived in that car? <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually feel sorry for Nonna. I mean, look at the way her life turned out. Francesco dragged her off the dance floor and dumped her in the bush. No wonder she thinks all men are bastards. Hey, Regina is going to be a solicitor. I'm going to be one myself. Why? When you can marry one. Come sta la bella signora oggi? You can tell him from me he's not to pick you up from anywhere. He comes to me first, especially with propositions of work. Why are you making things so hard? For who? For him? For you. You know, he might be interested in you, and for once in your life you get to choose what you want. Everything I've ever done in my life has been my choice. I was never forced. Well, what about all the things you haven't done, like uni or travel or joining a circus? I don't or... need to join a circus. I was born into one. Relationships? Oh, a few weeks back you had an attack at the idea of it, and now you want me to have a relationship. Oh, it depends on who with. Look, I just want you to tell me how you wanted your life to turn out when you were 17. Oh, Josie, life's not Mills and Boone. I'm not saying it is. <sighs> I dreamt of marrying a man who'd take care of me. We'd talk a lot. We'd have four children. I wanted girls. I always wanted a girl. The important thing is that he would like me. And that my children would like me. Was that man Michael Andretti? Yeah. But I look at him now and I 
think of being spat at and not being allowed to see Nonna till my father died and feeling scared and alone. Well, why can't you look at him and think of me? And I've been like, calm down. You know, it's not that exciting. I mean, it's as if he's got no life the way he's going on. No, like, big deal. I'm just sleeping over. She's got a doctor after her. I get along with him like a house on fire. Well, that should come in handy the next time you break somebody's nose. <laughs> Santana. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, the deposition's ready. Yeah. Clayton Utes. I think 7.30. That's right. Yeah, 7.30. The first time he asked me to join his practice, I think I'll say... No. I'll take care of that when I get back. Yeah. I'll look, I gotta go. Uh, my daughter's staying over. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Hey, who's a cheat? What are you doing, She's eating spaghetti with a fork and spoon. What a dickhead. going back now. Look at us all acting like a bunch of lunatics trying to pretend we're not shit scared. Then who will we know next year? Who's going to matter? job as a sales assistant in Katie's or Suzanne's. What about teaching? Haven't you heard of karma? What are they saying? <coughs> Journalism? All the women have really bad haircuts, no thanks. Flight attendant. They're just waitresses who clean dunnies on planes. We need to make decisions. Get your parents to decide. I'm the master of my own destiny, Sarah. <sighs> as if. You curse with one destiny and you can't control Bullshit. it. Bullshit. Listen. The poor marry the poor, the wogs marry the wogs, the Westies marry the Westies, and the North Shore marry the North Shore. Yes. Sometimes they crossbreed, though, and marry into the eastern suburbs. So what about Jacob and me? You can't even go on a date with this guy for five minutes without having a fight. You don't know anything about what we have, so much your own business. I'll give it three months and it'll be over. Look at me and Angelo. We've been together for almost a year now because we come from the same stock. Good. I hope you have retarded children. It's only the HSC. Is it who I think it is? Yeah, Dad, this is Josie. Hi. You're all he talks about. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, don't let me have to kill you.
I like you making the first move. You kids want a cup of tea? <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever, Dad. She's beautiful. So are you. I think we should stop. It's okay. I've got something. What? Oh, I can't know. This just doesn't feel right. Your dad's in the next room making his tea. You're making excuses. Prize or something? Just not now. Not here. Well, what do you mean, not here? Not ever? No, just not now. Is that so hard to understand? I just always get the feeling that you're looking for something better. Well, then you're reading it wrong. You're so. I don't know. You're so lucky. You live without culture or. Religion. You just have to abide by the law. Oh, that's bullshit. I hate the way you simplify my life like that. I thought we got over all that bullshit. You're a snob. No, I'm not. You are. You're a snob, and that's why you like that Barton guy. Don't be sacrilegious, Jacob. God, he hasn't even been dead for three months. Haven't you heard of mourning periods? Hey, I know more about mourning than you'll ever know, and believe me, there's no such thing as periods. God, I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're not. You're just good at saying what you think people want to hear. Ghost, wait, wait. This should be perfect. You, you get into punch-ups with aspiring models and you, you, know, you wipe your nose with your sleeve. You might have a chick. Why are we such a disaster together?
This is stupid. I can't understand why it keeps stalling on me. Now, see, I've told you to go easy on the clutch. I'm just doing what you told me. Let me show you. I'm Look the one it. driving, okay? You're driving me crazy. At this rate, you won't even know how to change gears by the time I go back to Adelaide. When? When what? Put your foot on the clutch. No, when are you going back? Oh, not just yet. In a couple of weeks when I'm finished here. Yeah, what are you finishing, Michael? Look, can we talk about this some other time? Right now, I am trying to teach you how to drive. Fuck your driving lesson. You're a crap teacher anyway. Oh, shit. Hey! Don't you ever speak to me that way again? What are you going to do? Get all fatherly and discipline me? That'll be a bit hard when you're in Adelaide. Maybe Nonna's right. We are all cursed. Why did I think I could ever change anything? I'm sorry, Nonna, but I'm not going to be the one to stop the curse. It's just not very good with men. I think we've analysed this enough. Angelo was kind of growing on me. His name's Massimo, and his family's from the north of Italy. And his mum's like, you know, that's why we have blonde hair. I mean, can you believe it? So I said, excuse me, signora, I mean, look at my hair, and my parents are from Calabria. Sarah, I hate to break this to you, but you weren't born with that colour hair. <laughs> What star sign is he? Oh, Libran, you know, he um, reckons he's a result of Christmas fashion. My mum's a Libran, first of October. That means they did it on New Year's Eve. Ooh, your grandfather must have been such a romantic. My grandfather was anything but romantic. He wasn't even around half the time. Especially at New Year. What? I have to go. <laughs> You're a liar. Didn't your Australian friend teach you that word in English? Liar. That is why Nono hated Mama so much, isn't it? Isn't it? Why are you saying this, Josie? Why can't you just say it? Why do you have to be such a hypocrite? Our name is a liar. Just say it. Josie, stop. You let your husband kick Mum around when she was 17. God, you wouldn't even let Michael come into the house when you found out he was my father, when all the time you'd done worse. You're a hypocrite. I'm telling her. I'll tell her everything. Tu non sai com'era vivere con uno che ti tratta come un animale. I did my duty. I stayed with him. That was my penance. Do you think he didn't know? Of course he knew. You couldn't give me children. He tells me this 17 years after I married him and uh, I put up with the, his disgusting ways, thinking it was me all the time, me failing. He allowed a psycho fishy. Gli desi una manciata di coppa. Luguti hai? Io già avevo perduto troppo. It was not like being with Francesco, who used me for two minutes. This man, he undressed me careful. Care. As if I was special. In my married bed, Josie. And he loved. He loved me. Why didn't you stay with him forever? Ni pregava. Io. Io non volevo buttare vergogna a me famiglia. Che ci succedeva a me figli? Tu pensi che gli italiani 
la lasciavano giocare con i suoi figli o gli australiani la accettavano. You must believe me, Josie, everything, every single thing I did was for Cristina. I did everything to protect her, to keep her safe from the devil. But the devil, he lived next door and got in through a hole in the fence. He's my father. If you love me, you'll accept that. I see Marcus every time I look at Christina. In my heart, I've had only one husband. We left behind in Queensland when I was pregnant. If I did, my daughter's life would be worth nothing. Oh, signori, fai capire, mi figlia, che un mio peccato era solo disgrazia. You have to tell her. You have to tell her. No, never, never tell Cristina. No more lies. Mia culpa. Mia culpa. No more curses. You have to tell Mama. Tell her what? I'm loved by two of the strongest women I'll ever know. And they've been kept apart by a man who couldn't love either of them. I think I've always known. Wouldn't it make Francesco happy to know that we're all miserable? It's like I started reading a book in the middle, but uh, I don't know what happened in the beginning. If I go back to Adelaide, you can come and visit every holiday. If you stay, I'll come and visit you every day. I can't tell you whether Mama will ever really forgive Nonna or whether Michael's going to stay. Or if Jacob and I are destined to be together. What would you prefer he has? A charger? <laughs> How I really want this to work, you know, more than more than anything I've ever wanted. Well, except for my mum not to die. We both know you don't always get what you want. But God, I love your faith. 
Hey, you want Michael? Nice to see you again. Yeah. Nonna, this is Jacob. Ah, hello. I'll pay so much for that, you. Here you go, mate. Welcome to the family. Where are you going? Christina. Hi. Come on in. Come on, let's go. I'd always dreamt of being someone really impressive and famous. You know, someone people could sit back and envy. I wonder what it would have been like growing up in Andretti, who never was an Alabrundi and who should have been a Sanford, and maybe never be a coot. But I know now that what's important is who I feel I am. I'm Christina and Michael's daughter, and I'm Cartier's granddaughter. And we're not cursed, we're blessed. Thank you. 